I started at St. Michael's on Bay Street in September 39, uh, along with my buddy, Father Brian Higgins. We both went together, scared to death, but uh, that's when we started, and uh, it was a new experience for us. We were walking on eggshells, and we were afraid that some priest was going to grab a hold of us and thump us or whatever. As uh, we were, we were quite uptight about the whole thing. But uh, the first two priests we met coming in the side door, across from the uh, handball courts on Bay Street, was Father Mulvihill and Father Con Crowley, the two biggest men I ever saw in my life. And when we opened the door to walk in, all we could see was black. These two guys were priests were standing in the doorway and it was something else our initiation to St. Michael's Cam and Father Brian starred in that team of 1942 but more importantly strengthened their friendship Ironhead Higgins <laughs> I could there's so many stories I could tell you about that character we grew up together really uh, Father Brian and myself, uh, we went to grade school together. Uh, we worked together in the summer on construction, and we went to St. Mike's together. We played football together. Uh, we never played hockey together. Brian wasn't the best hockey player in the world. In fact, one of the worst. From playing, Cam went on to become the head coach of the football teams in the 1950s. I think when you start coaching young boys, grade 9, grade 10, it's, uh, football particularly it is an entirely different area for them. They've never played the game before. They, we have to spend a day or two putting the equipment on, teach them how to put the equipment on. and. and uh, the boys learn, it's amazing to see them, if you look back, what you've been able to impart to them and how they absorb that and put it into practice. And from practically four fellows standing around uh, that have never played the game before, uh, and you give them a play and you work on it for maybe two or three days and all of a sudden it works. And they're the most amazed guys in the world when you see the look on their face. They, they look at each other like they can't believe what they've done. And it's a wonderful feeling for a coach to have. All right, wait a minute, you guys. You are a little beast, aren't you? Now, 60 years after Cam and Brian first set foot on the Bay Street campus of St. Mike's, they are still the best of friends. The effect of a high school has translated into a lifelong commitment to friendship and to St. Mike's for both men, and the memories never fade. The memories are so vivid to me today, uh, particularly if I run into an old boy and we start talking, and boy, oh boy, before you know it, uh, we're almost crying and, uh, with each other uh, because they're just imprinted on us in a fantastic way. There are, I was taught by the Brazilians, I'm proud to say that, and they, they were just my heroes, really. Uh, they were wonderful to us, and they taught us a, a values that even today stand me in good stead. <laughs> 